You can sit me down in front of basically any Mac in the world today, and I could use it okay, it would be fine. But there are a few third-party apps that I am so reliant on, that I love so much, that if they're not there, I feel like my Mac isn't complete. So today I wanted to share the first five apps that I always get installed whenever I get a new Mac, because they're so core to my macOS experience that I just can't live without them. So I'm gonna share them today. I've made videos about all these in the past, so you can check out more information on them. I'll try to put links in the description, and I'll put some free or cheaper alternatives if these specific options aren't exactly right for you, but let's jump into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to install every single time right up front is my password manager, and I use 1Password. And I love it for a multitude of reasons. We're not gonna get into all of them today, but my password manager has to be first because it's how I get into everything else, right? I have my website logins here. I have some notes uh, that might be helpful for setting up a new computer. I might have some files, like for setting up my command line the right way, I could have those here um, synced over. Uh, again, Wi-Fi, app licenses, all of this is just essential for me to do anything else. So if I go ahead and close this, for example, I need to log into this website. I can log in, there it is, sign into Ina Reader, and there we go. Multiply that times 500, however many <laughs> apps I need to sign into, or websites I need to sign into. Apps as well. I can sign in, and now in 1Password, there's a new keyboard shortcut for Command Shift Spacebar, where you can autofill uh, web or apps. So this isn't like a website, but I can still use this kind of pop-up to autofill. It's going to log me in and there we go. I'm signed into sketch. It's super easy, super nice. I love one password and it's just whatever your password manager of choices, it has to be one of the first things you install. The next step I get installed is my app launcher. And for me, that's Raycast, but it could be Alfred or you could use Spotlight, but I don't find Spotlight as helpful. So Raycast is my app launcher, and you can see kind of the UI here is it's going to suggest some apps that I use regularly. That list might not be there if it's a new Mac, um, but I can just type, uh, let's do Safari, and there's Safari. I could do Arc, and there's Arc, right? And you can launch whatever uh, apps you want. That's awesome. Um, I made a whole other video about Raycast. I've actually made a couple of videos about it, so you should check those out if you want to learn more about why this app is really cool. But I can also use this to like find uh, driver standings in Formula One right now. And so I can just be reminded, okay, that's what's going on there. Uh, if I need a GIF, I can search for a GIF. Um, hooray, right? Um, and I can get these and copy them to my clipboard. Um, I can do other things like I have, uh, I use Raindrop IO. Um, I can search my latest bookmarks and go through them and go to them or whatever I want to do. So just having Raycast as kind of like this quick search and quick access to a whole bunch of weird little things uh, that I find useful is really awesome and I just have to have it there early on. So the third thing I'm going to install is a clipboard manager and I use Pastebot for that. So why do you want a clipboard manager? Again, I've made a whole video about this, but a super short version would be, let's say I'm kind of going through my news and okay, here's a link I want to check out. So let me go ahead and copy it. Um, and then I'm going to uh, like want to share this with somebody, right? So I'm going to copy this paragraph as well. And then, oh God, what was that URL? I wanted to go to that URL. What do I do? Because right now, by uh, just normally, it would be gone. What I can do is open a new tab. And even though if I just hit paste, I get that paragraph, which doesn't help me at all. What I can do is hit a keyboard shortcut, which I have set to command shift V. And now I can see the last thousand things I've copied to my clipboard. And there you go, that's the URL that I wanted. I can paste it and there we go. And if I wanted to go to text edit um, with an X, text edit, I could go ahead and go back here, paste in that and I still have that from on my clipboard. Um, and again, I have it set to save the last thousand things so I can go back days and days <laughs> with things uh, that are on my clipboard. Pastebot can even sync over iCloud so you can sync uh, your clipboards between your devices. So if you had copied things on your last computer and now you have a new computer, you could even get those. It's really, really fantastic. I really love it. Um, and yeah, it's just super useful. And Pastebot does some clever things where like if you copy what looks like a password or a license key or something to your clipboard, it'll save it for a few minutes, but then we'll remove it so it's not a permanently, uh, just permanently on the list. Really cool, really love Pastebot, but again, there's a few other options. Uh, I would highly recommend a clipboard manager for your Mac though. 
The fourth thing I'll install is Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro is definitely the nerdiest app on this list, but it lets me do keyboard expansion, uh, which again, there are other apps to do, um, and it does system automation. So there's other apps that do uh, text expansion. There's Apple Shortcuts tool that does some system automation, but Keyboard Maestro lets me go crazy. And let me show you some examples. So on a very basic level, it does keyboard expansion. So I can hit at at, and that pays out my uh, email address. So I don't have to type that out all the time. Additionally, I have uh, some lore Mipsum text that I can easily put onto a mock-up or anything that I'm working on. So stuff like that is nice. I have more, but I'm just showing you kind of a, a subset of things that I do here to give you an idea. But things get a little crazy as well with system automation. And these are just, they're nice for me to have, especially on my work computer. Uh, so a while ago, I was doing a project where I was pulling in some information on movies. Uh, I've got like critic score from Rotten Tomatoes, audience score, the letterbox score, and the runtime. And I was just pulling some information on all these movies for a lot of years. Don't ask me why. Um, but for example, if I wanted to do this, I would have to basically get the movie. I'd have to like search it and do all this stuff. I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I set it up so I could just copy the movie to my clipboard. And then if I used a keyboard shortcut, I could hit uh, the shortcut. It's gonna open Rotten Tomatoes. It's going to search for that movie. And again, my hands are up, so you can see that I'm not doing any of this myself. It's all just happening in real time. And then I did have to click on the search results to make sure I was getting the right one. But now that I did this, I wanted to get, again, two scores from this page. I wanted to get the runtime from Letterboxd and the score from Letterboxd. So another keyboard shortcut, again, hands up. And you can see it's selecting and copying those scores. It's uh, selecting the runtime, copying the score from Letterboxd and now it's putting them all into my document. So I have those scores for No Time to Die. Um, and yeah, I was just able to do this a bunch of times for different things. And yeah, stuff like that is just super awesome to be able to do. That's a crazy use case that isn't gonna be useful to anyone else, but Keyboard Maestro let me set that up in just a few minutes and it saved me a ton of time doing this project. And this last app is CleanShot X. It is a screenshot tool for the Mac that you can replace the built-in system screenshotting functionality with. I love it. Uh, so full disclosure, I have worked with them on doing some of their update videos to kind of explain how it works, uh, but they're not sponsoring this video. They've never sponsored a channel or a video on this channel before. So I can just use the same keyboard shortcuts I'm used to. I can take a screenshot. I can go in to annotate it uh, with arrows. Uh, I can go ahead and mask things out if I wanted to kind of tease the scores. I can adjust how pixelated this is actually going to be. Uh, right, there's all that, so I can go ahead and highlight them. I can, of course, change the colors of all these, so I can make this green if I wanted. Um, yeah, awesome annotation tools. Uh, you can see it added some padding to the screenshot for me uh, to make that a really nice window, um, so I like that. I can do full screen screenshots. You can see they kind of queue up here. I can close them, I can copy them to my clipboard, save them to my desktop, pin them to the screen, I can upload them to a cloud account. Tons of stuff going on here, but I'm going to be taking screenshots. It's just going to happen, and I like having a better tool for that. Um, I can also do things like I have this keyboard shortcut to bring up the all-in-one option. And so I can choose, uh, for example, if I wanted to do some OCR on uh, this, I can go ahead and select this, do OCR. And now uh, Black Widow should be on my clipboard. So if I go down here and go ahead and paste, Black Widow is pasted. So there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here, but basically it's a more powerful screenshotting tool than what Mac OS has built in. It also does video recording, so I can go ahead and grab like a portion of the video and I can choose to record from my microphone, uh, collect system sound, video recording, clicks, keyboards. Um, I can record as a GIF right away, as a video. Um, I can lock aspect ratios, so it's gonna be 16 by nine if I need that for a video, so it's gonna lock to that aspect ratio. I can go free form if I'd prefer. So all really great. Um, if I start recording, it's gonna record. I can do all the things I wanna do, move it around, right? You can see kind of the mouse click doing its thing. Uh, if I type keys, it's going to track those as well. And I can just say done when I'm done, edit. And then I can go through here. I can trim it if I'd like. I can change how it's saved, the video quality, tons of stuff here. Um, absolutely love, love, love this app. Again, have worked with them before. We'll probably work with them in the future again, but it's because I actually love the app. And so it's not the most essential thing to get me going on a Mac, but it's one of the things that I just really, it really fleshes out the experience for me. So hopefully this video was helpful in kind of seeing how some of these apps are useful. Maybe it was inspirational to you to find something that can help solve a problem that you didn't know you had or that you have had and just thought you had to deal with. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time.